a hard time breathing through your nose easily, you may have chronic nasal obstruction. We're joined this morning by Dr. John Langford from Charlotte Eye, Ear, Nose, and Throat Associates to talk more about nasal obstruction, what causes it, and how it can be treated. Dr. Langford, good morning to you. Good morning, Colleen. Thanks for having me. Of course. It's great to see you. Okay, so let's start with this. What causes this nasal obstruction? Well, uh, it can be really uh, one of two things. Uh, one is inflammation. So it should, could be uh, an allergy uh, or a cold or a chronic sinus infection. Um, but the other cause can be a structural issue. You can have uh, a deviated septum or some uh, abnormality inside your nose that prevents you from breathing through your nose. Okay. So these are, this is for folks who are listening who maybe right now they have a hard time breathing easily through their nose, correct? Exactly. So. Yeah, if it doesn't really bother you, then it's uh, not something to worry about. But, you know, if you can't breathe through your nose or it affects the quality of your life or it makes your snoring worse, uh, then I think you should uh, get it looked at. And uh, there are things that we can do to help you with that. So let's talk about some of those treatment options. I think the first thing is to try some uh, medical therapy. That's certainly the simplest thing to do. And if you want to try to save a, a visit to your doctor, you can always go and get an over-the-counter nasal steroid spray like Nasonex or, um, or rather Flonase or mm -hmm. uh, Rhinocort, something like that, um, and try that for two weeks. And, and if that enables you to breathe through your nose, and that's the simplest thing to do. Right. Um, if, if you are still obstructed and you can't breathe through your nose and you're not doing well, then I would start by talking to your regular uh, primary care provider. But, but if you're still not doing well, then I think you uh, should uh, consider seeing an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Let's talk about a few of the procedures. If somebody gets to the point where they try the nasal spray and it doesn't work and they come in and see you, what are some of those procedures? Are, my, are they in office visits? Do they have a lot of downtime? Exactly. So, you know, the first thing we'll do uh, before we get to the procedures is we will take a good look at things, use a telescope, look in the nose, um, check out your anatomy. And if it is a structural issue, uh, there are some, some simple um, procedures that we can do. So we can straighten your septum, which is the center divider of your nose. We can shrink up your inferior turbinates, which can cause obstruction. <clears throat> and we can also stiffen the side wall of your nose. So uh, kind of think about a breathe right strip. Um, you know, some people wear those like athletes so they can breathe better through your nose. Um, so we can actually do kind of an internal breathe right strip um, to, to stiffen your nose and en enable you to breathe better. Um, and many of these we can do in the office. And if we can't do it in the office, then they are uh, simple procedures that can be done in an outpatient surgery center. You don't have to go to the hospital. It's just uh, day surgery. Um, and really there's minimal downtime. So, um, you know, you may be out of work for a few days. We may not want you to exercise um, for about a week, um, but it's really pretty simple with minimal discomfort. And you'll breathe so much easier. Thank you, Dr. Langford. Thank you so much. For more information or to schedule a consultation, you can call 704-295-3000, 704-295-3000, or check out the website wejustmakesense.com, wejustmakesense.com. I think my dog is interested in hearing more about <laughs> what you have to say. Thank you, Dr. Langford. Thank you, Colleen.